Hi there. My name is Jean McGowan Jordan. I'm a clinical cytogeneticist at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, CHEO, in Ottawa, Canada. But I'm also the current editor of the ISCN and the um, chair of the ISCN Standing Committee. This version of the ISCN is the result of close collaboration between the cytogenomics community worldwide and the ISCN Standing Committee. The ISCN Standing Committee is a group of professionals that are really engaged in this process and we hope that the changes that we've made to the ISCN will help you in your work every day. One of the changes that I wanted to um, make you aware of is that we're trying to standardize the approach to describing chromosomal abnormalities across technologies. So to do this, we are changing the orientation, the way we look at chromosomes um, from being with um, the perspective from the centromere to being from p -ter to q -ter across technologies. So whether you're describing an abnormality that you've identified by banded chromosomes, fish, microarray sequencing, everything will be with regard from p -ter to q -ter, so along the genomic sequence. Another thing that we're trying to standardize is the description of chromosome abnormalities, so that we always start by describing abnormalities that affect sex chromosomes first, regardless of what technology was used to identify the abnormality. So whether you're, you've identified a abnormality by uh, sequencing, fish, microarray, or banded chromosomes, those that affect sex chromosomes will always be presented first in the nomenclature. Another change that we've made is to introduce a new abbreviation to make it more clear that an abnormality has been inherited intact or as part of a derivative chromosome from a parent. And we've reintroduced the optional use of commas for any result that shows nucleotide numbers. So you can use those commas to separate the thousands and millions, and that will make those long numbers a lot easier to read. We have also developed uh, nomenclature to show the results of characterization of polar bodies. This is a new feature. And in collaboration with HGBS, we have improved and revised the sequence-based nomenclature. So the nomenclature that's used for describing chromosome abnormalities that have been detected by sequence-based technologies has been revised. And this not only shows up in chapter 16 of ISCN, but is also available through HGBS as HTML. So I hope you enjoy using the ISCN and find it useful in your everyday work. Thank you.